Welcome to Colorful Journeys of Success. Claire Mullen, producer, host, and author of Color Wheeling for Success, explores with her guests the stages of success in their lives. This show highlights leaders, teachers, coaches, mentors, and even parents who are role models who help change our world. How have you succeeded, and who was your teacher and inspiration? Now, who are the people you teach and inspire? Listen to and watch our fascinating guests as they share colorful stories of success and how they help inspire. Now, here's Claire, the color wheeling lady and our host. Welcome to Colorful Journey of Success. I'm so glad that you joined us because this is going to be an exciting show. We have something really, really different this time. We are actually, we, we have DeAnza students, college, DeAnza college students, and they're going to be taking roles. They're playing a different role. Someone wrote a story, and so each one of them has a particular role. And this is all about learning the video basics and, and learning well listen I won't go on anymore I'm going to introduce you to our guests it's my pleasure Sean thank, thank you so you. much for coming Fernando thanks, thanks so much for coming thank you and so before we really get into the story let's talk a little bit about you and in this particular class the video basics at De Anza. why did you join that class um, well, I'm a, I'm a film major at De Anza. Um, you know, it just seemed like kind of the next step. You know, I'm, I need to know it and, uh, you know, in order to get a degree. But it's also, you know, really important to, to know it, to be able to work in the industry. And it's, uh, it's been a fun class so far. Oh, great. So, so this mm -hmm. is a nice experience for you. Oh, definitely. definitely. Oh, great. Yeah, it's great and Fernando, <laughs> why did you join that class? I've taken it before, and I actually enjoyed the whole camera work, the audio. Um, I've mm -hmm. taken a couple of studio uh, audio post-production classes, mm -hmm. which are awesome. So it just fits all in. Um, if I can make sound effects for them. Ah, wonderful. Better. Well, it's really been my pleasure to, to meet all of you and be there myself. Mm -hmm. So it will be really, really fun. So we have, what was the name of the lady that wrote the story? Uh, Angelina and Smita. 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 Okay. And Angelina. So we're going to play out that story, right? <laughs> or right. you are. I'm going to introduce you <laughs> now. Instead, of, you're, you're no longer Sean. Mm -hmm. What is your name? My name is Daniel. Hmm? My name is Daniel. Daniel. Yeah. Daniel, thanks so much for coming. Thank you for having me. And? It's Sebastian. Sebastian. Yes. Okay. So t uh, I know in the story line, it was mm -hmm. really great how she developed it, how you came together later in life. So let's talk about you first. Tell us about your life growing up. Um, well, let's see. Uh, I kind of grew up around sports and physical activities. Um, mm -hmm. My dad was a runner, and you know, I was a PE coach, um, and uh, you know, so I was kind of already immersed from it mm -hmm. or in it from a from a young age. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I just uh, didn't really think much of it, you know, it was kind of a part of the whole thing, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, after a while I started to slowly get into it, and it was very encouraging for my family and, and friends and mm -hmm. stuff, and uh, just kind of led I the way. I was impressed for, the way the yeah. story was talking about, not only did you have your siblings, but you had your aunts and your uncles and your grandparents. Yeah. Wow, th what a wonderful, you, how fortunate you were to have that family. Yeah, very much so, yeah. And so, but you weren't always into the sports you you I think uh, in the story it was three uh, you were three years old when you started learning to spin, uh, swim mm -hmm. oh, yeah. okay and then next step um, well next step was you know just uh, getting on a bike I guess <laughs> you know um, just uh, I mean swimming it's always good you know because mm -hmm. it's important to know how to swim um, but uh, biking is you know, it's a little bit easier to to get around places, I guess. Okay. And it was your uncle that got you on your bike? I in, believe it was, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. In this story? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But yeah. then your sister got you into running. Mm -hmm. So they were, those are the three sports. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's really, really fun. Yeah. Okay. So think about now, let's see, but you didn't meet each other. But let's switch yeah. over to you now. 
Yes. Well, I talk had, about when when you were growing up. Well, I had a pretty normal life until my parents died at age 12. Um, yeah. After that, it was kind of a twist in events because they, they took me into a foster care system. Uh, from there, I, I had a great coach, uh, PE teacher, yeah. who actually got me inspired and got ready to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, really taught me, you know, the sports are great. And they actually helped focus into school, um, get those anxieties out. And, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. it's... It it's turning that out must like have been great. very difficult, though, being losing your family yes. and being in a foster okay, foster home. And, and and in the story, mm -hmm. you were pretty depressed. And yes, yeah. So it you've is. done very very well, but you didn't know each other in the no, story. We didn't. Mm -hmm. Not until later on, we did a triathlon, which uh, that's when I ended up meeting uh, Daniel here next to yeah. me, mm -hmm. and uh, it's. Yeah. It's turns it turns out into a more inspiring because uh, I get to know more, enjoy more, uh, do a lot more activities, and mm -hmm. it helped me want to be an athlete trainer. Right. Yes. So, you, but you you wanted to be the but it was team training. Yes. And I believe that that you and your father actually created some kind of a system. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was. I mean, the idea came from um, to us from you know within the family, but uh, you know we approached the city and we wanted to start a campaign to to help uh, you know younger teens who need a little bit of guidance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. How close is that to now? We're going to kind of like I'm going to kind of do a little loop here, mm -hmm. flip flop. Okay, how close actually is the story to your real life? As and your your real life Sean and Daniel. the story and your life in this story. Okay, okay. Are, are, is Daniel there... and Sean. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, uh, so in well, my real life, my real life as Sean, um, my dad is actually an ultra marathoner, so he does like the hundred mile runs and, and races and stuff. Um, so it's kind of similar. Uh, I actually do want to do triathlons, but. Right now, I actually just do obstacle course racing. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, okay. yeah, yeah. So you were feeling kind of natural in this particular story. Somewhat, yes. yes <laughs> but it was heightened. It yeah. was really heightened. Yeah, and especially with the, the campaigns and helping out, you know, teens mm -hmm. in need and that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. And that's really, really important. And I, I noticed where our set designer, mm -hmm. also a student in our class, oh, okay. brought yeah, in yeah. some uh, props. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I and we have a trophy here. We have a helmet. You want to talk about some of these props? Uh, ooh, let's see. Um, that's Sean or Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's see. Um, these look like your standard uh, bicycle helmets. Um, you know, it's it's good to protect your noggin and stuff. Yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's. Definitely, definitely important important piece of gear that you mm -hmm. want to have when when biking and stuff. You know, yes. You never know when an accident might might occur. So yeah. Mm -hmm. We also have a um, a wheel here from an actual bike. They're like speed bikes. Mm -hmm. uh, you actually you can actually hit about 40, 50 miles an hour going down really? a hill. Really? Um, I didn't they, know that. They yes, they're amazing bikes, especially because they're all carbon fiber and aluminum most of them. So it's you have to be geared right and. Uh, Enjoy the turns, really. Mm. <laughs> yes, enjoy. I can just shh <laughs> at, at that. Now, it's interesting. I don't know for sure what this is, though. Looks like a resistance band. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. All right. It's kind of like doing the actual weightlifting, mm -hmm. but without the actual weights. Yeah. So All it, right. it's up to you how you want to, you know. I should know that because I just joined a gym not too uh. long ago when I'm in training. And, but that's a dis just a different color. Yeah. <laughs> but okay, so but let's go yeah. back to the story and right. because I think it, the story has really a message, a real powerful message about how one person can really help another person, and that's what colorful journey of success is all about. So you really were successful. Yeah, in, in yeah. every step along the way, right? Uh, I, I mean, you know, training itself is has got its you know ups and downs and stuff. Um, but uh, you know, when uh, 
I think at at that age, um, you know, I was doing pretty good for myself. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> so, what are, what are some of the strengths that you develop? Um, in racing oriented or outside? Um, let's see, racing. I mean, endurance, uh, strength, you know, that sort of thing. Um, physical physical benefits mm -hmm. of you know training like that. Um, but outside of physical, you know, it takes a lot of determination and, and discipline to to kind of um, put yourself through that kind of training and stuff. So I think that helps to strengthen the... And the, so what is what, yeah. what, what would you tell yourself when instead of going out with the guys or, or the, the kids to just have fun and, and say, no, 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 I've got to go work out or something, what would, how, how does, you know, how, how does that work for you? Um, how did that work? Was in the story or real life? Oh, a little bit of both. Um, let's see. I guess something I tell myself would be, do you really want to listen to your alarm clock <laughs> go off so many times? Or, um, you know, just, uh, I mean, because, you know, when you go out, you know, and you have fun, you know, you tell yourself it'll be like an hour or so, but then it goes longer than that. So it's, you know, it's it sucks to have to drag yourself out of bed in the morning. That's yeah. If you remember that, I think, then okay. it's it's a good way to... So just kind of bypass So how do you motivate yourself, or how did you? Um, ooh, let's see. I mean, my dad is a great inspiration. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just to kind of see what he's done and just to be kind of inspired by him is, mm -hmm. you know, something that, that motivates me. Um, you know, my, my dad and other family members as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's so a constantly you, there. Yeah, you know, that so. would be really good. Yeah. Yeah. So what what would you say to now? Now let's take you out of that role. Let, let's take you into the role of the coach. And now you've met this nice young man, and he's just starting in the in the story. I can't remember. Yes. Were you already into the sports? Um, no, I was not into sports. I enjoyed doing sports, but I was not really much of a sports athlete. So okay. I didn't have that you know little push. They so you know. kind of like when did you meet in this story? Uh, we met later on uh, when we were doing the triathlon. Mm -hmm. That's at the time when we both actually joined roles and well, we met and uh, he became a mentor in a sense after and he the became your mentor. Yes. Yeah. Being what was the age difference? Do you know in the story? I believe I was 16 mm -hmm. in the story. Uh, so that's when I actually got inspired and started. Uh, joining some more and doing a little bit more exercise and being uh, out there and actually doing the whole, you know, nine yards instead of two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, was he a tough coach? In the story? No. Nah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so, it's a good inspiration in the story because it, it makes me want to go do the actual training and have the mm -hmm. certificates to actually train others mm -hmm. in the program. Uh, that was owned by the city at that point. So mm -hmm. yes. So it was a city program. That's that's when you became involved and, and met. Uh, yes, but okay. then it was Daniel. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. <laughs> and were there ty were awards? There were there. You know what what were the motivations? Uh, motivations there. There must um, not just simple awards. Sometimes with simple awards can mean a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we did have an award, but the inspiration is mostly to, you know, prove that it's possible mm -hmm. and uh, you can achieve goals if you put, set your mind to it. Yeah. And uh, just getting there and meeting your goal is something, you know, nobody can really take away. So yeah. it's better than a trophy in a sense, but a trophy is just something, you know, to remind yourself that you actually achieve mm -hmm. certain award um, goals. So, yeah. yes. Well, it's very inspiring. <laughs> It's really very inspiring. Yes. Uh. So I, I think that, geez, when when you when you think about it, how you can inspire and how you can change a person's life. Oh yes. Yeah. Even through a storyline, you know, everybody's uh -huh. mind and thoughts change. At the moment, or before, or after, depends. Mm -hmm. yes. And so, uh. being in a, going from a foster home 
yeah. or being if, uh, really being in a foster home that would be uh, really making a change, making a huge, huge change. Oh yes. So this story, I think, was really well written. Mm -hmm. And how did you feel actually acting out uh, characters this in this real, this particular story? Oh. Sean, this is fun. <laughs> I mean, no, it's, it's 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 cool. It's cool. Um, you know, I mean, act, when you act out, it's you know, it helps to know what kind of character mm -hmm. you're you're portraying. Um, but uh, you know, aside from that, you know, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's kind of a setting where you can we can kind of improv it a little bit. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, the story is definitely a good one. It makes a yes. Just you know, hope we can. Live can you up see it as a movie? Ooh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, yeah, I could definitely. see it as a movie. Yeah. Even just definitely. having our normal wardrobe is kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. How they actually, you can see where one actually doesn't really have, uh, one has a lot of mentor and one has to actually understand, you know, how to dress in a way. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's, I, I see, I could see it in a mm -hmm. movie. It's interesting. Wow. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about uh, the... Uh, uh, someone like you losing your parents, mm -hmm. being in a foster home, a, a completely different environment. You, you miss your family, you miss your friends, you miss your uh, your school. It, you, you're literally taken out yeah. of what was so much a part of you. Yeah. And going into a completely new environment. Was there, can, can you see where maybe there'd be bullying and some of the challenges? Quite a bit, actually, because uh, uh, it fits in my lifestyle a little bit, in the mm -hmm. way I grew up, because mm -hmm. uh, I stopped knowing my dad, my father, around, I think I was seven years old. Mm -hmm. And so my mom... Now, is this the real you? Yes, or the real me. Well, okay, so let's, let's talk about that in. a little more. <laughs> it, well, it does fit in, because uh, my mother used to work all the time, so most of my time I spend it out in the streets and wandering around. So. Mm -hmm. It, it fits in in the story because my friends did help out quite a bit to be like, hey, you know, stay in school, do something, you know, interesting. So, yeah, I did. I kind of bounced around here and there. Yeah. So, were um, maybe drugs a problem sometimes? In the story? Either. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the story, I would assume yes because he doesn't really have mentors. And mm -hmm. real life is kind of interesting how they play a role, and uh, to kind of walk away from them can be difficult, mm -hmm. but it's possible. So actually, sports is one of those that kind of encourage you to, you know, do better. I was actually trained by my football coach, mm -hmm. which he allowed me to come in and he made me go through a couple of interesting things to do, and you know, I went up against <laughs> the strangest people because I'm not really that tall. So oh, okay. Is, you know, that's a good point. That's yes. a real good point. So I, I had quite a few obstacles to overcome, and in real life, it'd be, it's possible. And uh, the story... Well, I you're very nice looking. Oh, you're very you. charming. Both of you. Both of you. We dress for a good occasion. Yeah. So. Yes, very, We're very, very good. good. And I'm really happy to mm -hmm. be in the class. And I, I never expected this to happen, but I really love the idea of letting the students kind of like take over one of my shows and, and we all kind of learn together. Yeah. I, I, I'm just, I'm really having a great time. In fact, I thought, wow, I would love to have, instead of have me doing everything practically, having a team, a, a crew do some of the tasks that I have to take, take mm -hmm. on and Amazing team. They all did exactly what they were supposed to without even knowing that they, mm -hmm. it was a role. So yeah, I, I was really, on. really pleased. Yes. Everyone was actually <laughs> outstanding, in my opinion. Yes, <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> and and so I'm. I think that this experience of doing a television show maybe mm -hmm. will help you with the class too. Mm -hmm. What do you think? think so. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking to some of the people, yeah. really nice. Yeah, they're awesome. <laughs> I did, by the way, I did cr uh, go through the the uh, text, the manual, and mm -hmm. I to each chapter and where they have the key terms, the terminology. Mm -hmm. I made one sheet with all those terms, so we'll make copies 
so you can have that like yeah. a cheat sheet. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> sounds, sounds helpful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, okay, let, let's go back to this story, though, because it's such a neat story. Let's go to the end of the story. Okay. And so now you've really reached fame, right? How does, how does the end of the story work for you? Um, how does it work for me? Uh, mm -hmm. In what way? Like, how does it play out? Um, plays out basically, you know, we've touched a lot of lives and, you know, influenced a lot of people and then, you know, they've, you know, hopefully come out of the, you know, um, the direction of their life has become more positive and, you know, they've mm -hmm. kind of got their own little pathways now and, um, you know, they can do their own positive things, I guess, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it's a... Uh, Moving forward. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. very much, yeah. And so yeah. your success, so you've passed your success on, you've paid it forward in a sense? Uh, hopefully, hopefully, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that's great, that's great. Yeah. And so if you were either Sean or Daniel, or Daniel yeah. 10 years from now, where are you going to be? Um, hmm. Either one. Have you thought about that? Um, actually, yeah, I'd like to <laughs> do it. I'd like to be doing triathlons either as Sean or Daniel because <laughs> I feel inspired by the story. So, <laughs> okay, that's good. good. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's yeah. Great. Um, but uh, well, we, we will read about you in the paper and see you on the news. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and how about you, well, Fernando or Sebastian? I for either one, I, I ten enjoy years trying from new here, things. Yeah, from now. In ten years, I still see myself to try new things. Maybe actually be in this type of studio setting, because it's always completely random, completely mm -hmm. different. Nothing's ever the same, and still exercising, of course, as usual, mm -hmm. because uh, I I like sports, and uh, mm -hmm. as long as it comes to you know a uh, nice intense one, I'm mm -hmm. I'm more than happy to. Football is intense. Um, I just joined one night. Didn't know it was actual team, mm -hmm. but rugby, and uh, <laughs> huh? it, it turned out to be a team. So I'm actually looking forward to you know playing a wild game at some point. Ah, because very you good. Get hurt pretty I guess we're gonna well. hear about you and, and see you <laughs> on news too. Nah, just purple eyes. That's all. So How that about yeah, finish once you finish this course? Mm -hmm. Would you like to actually either one of you? Mm -hmm. uh, I'd I'd love to see you uh, have your own show, your own TV show. Maybe about yeah. sports. Yeah. It's, Ever it's think slippy. about that? Uh, I have. Yeah. Um, I've I've worked with a a magazine out of San Diego for for one of their shoots. They do they were doing like a web series, mm -hmm. and it was uh, it was following around a guy for a, for like a, a half marathon, the rock and roll in Las Vegas, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was a uh, it was fun to work with them. I think that's something I'd like to do in their life. Okay. Yeah. Well, it certainly is doable, right? Yes. Yeah. And tremendous value, and you're certainly at De Anza College, where they have this fantastic yeah. studio. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think it's a co the the course is excellent, mm -hmm. but the studio here also has courses. Yes. So um, yeah. I wish you the best of luck on that. Thank you. And I I really do look forward to seeing you mm -hmm. grow, and mm -hmm. I hope this has really helped you. It uh, is. I'm I'm behind. I'm a more of a behind camera type of person. So mm -hmm. I, I'm not really much of a you know actor. Or, I enjoy doing it. You don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. I'll do all the activities as long as I'm, there's no pictures of me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've done quite a bit, and I, it it'll help us uh, believe in the future. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get us somewhere, um, just because you, we enjoy it, not so much because you know it's part of it. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> That's wonderful. Uh, there. Uh, now, what, what, would, what would you say to young students, mm -hmm. either in video and or sports? For sports, you know, there's nothing better than beating your own self because mm -hmm. if you try to compete against others and be better than them, it's not going to happen. Beat yourself, keep going. Uh, dreams can be achieved. So yeah, Dreams can be achieved. Yes. I believe that. I so, really do believe that. Uh, set yourself some goals and keep going at it. And mm -hmm. new film, creative. Be creative. 
be creative. Extremely right? creative. You know, it's amazing. We have we have this fantastic thing mm -hmm. called imagination. It can disappear. <laughs> If you uh, focus too much. <laughs> oh, well, I, rem I remember when I, I had the idea I wanted to have my own TV show. Mm -hmm. And I just, I, you know, I just, it, it, I didn't think about it for a long time. I just, you yeah. know, I just, yeah, I think I'd like to have my own TV show. So I took the class, and, and that was about 10 years ago. <laughs> so, uh, so this is really helpful for me to help other people. And I think that coming on Colorful Journey of Success does help other people because they can talk about how they're moving forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you see yourself moving forward? I can definitely see Absolutely. myself moving forward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So you have a choice. You mm -hmm. Go to sports or television. Which would be a choice? Oh, um, probably think? be uh, film television. Um, okay. Yeah, I can do sports on the side. Um, as a professional athlete, you mm -hmm. know, I don't think I'd, I would do that, no. Um, I see. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's uh, combining the two, you know, media, film, television kind of stuff mm -hmm. with athletics, that's, that can be done as well. So, you know, I think that's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's great. If you had a show, what would the name of your show be? Oh. Ooh, I might have to get back to you on that, Claire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a tough one. <laughs> yeah. That's it's a tough one. Matt, yeah, creativity takes yeah. time sometimes. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. Well, that's true. That's really, really true. But I wish you the best of luck in uh, what are, in whatever your endeavors are. That would be really, really great. Awesome. The one thing you didn't talk about was that uh, cute little white bottle over there, oh. though. Real um, quick, uh, because well, this I... looks like a blender bottle. Um, <laughs> it's basically got a little thing inside. So when you you know stick powders and whatever form of liquid, you know like water, milk coconut water whatever um it helps to just mix it up oh. and you know make it more smooth yeah i yeah. had never seen that before it, it just kind of <laughs> caught my eye and i yeah. thought oh we didn't talk about that that's yeah. interesting yeah. interesting it also helps the next day so you won't be so <laughs> yeah so it's like protein uh. Yeah, you can put a recovery okay. in there. Okay, well, listen, I, I thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Claire. Sebastian thank you. and thank you, Claire, Daniel and, and Sean and <laughs> <laughs> Fernando. <laughs> yeah. Remember all of these? But thank you very much for joining Colorful Journey of Success. I hope you enjoyed tonight's interview. This has been really fun and interesting. If you're interested in joining Colorful Journey of Success, contact me because I'd love to interview you. Give me your ideas. Let me know. So that would be really fantastic. The students from De Anza, they've got a great program going there. Of course, we have got a great program here at KMVT Channel 15 also. So I hope you enjoy your evening, your day. Mm -hmm. I always ask for a word of wisdom, a oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Just maybe three words. Mm -hmm. Never give up. Um, oh God, Think Is about it. Words? Okay. <laughs> Word of wisdom. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> Explore the world. Explore the world. That's a good one. Explore the world. I like that. Join the bonnet. Do your best. Do your best. Do your um, best. <laughs> that, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Okay. So <laughs> uh, well, I always like never give up, but there's another yeah. one I'll give you mm -hmm. to have really a lot of fun. Just bloom wherever you're planted. Is that cool? Okay. <laughs> bloom wherever you're planted. So, again, thank you so much. This thank is you really, too. really fun. Such a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> it was really a lot of fun.